uh, in this this group of friends got to appreciate their friends and appreciate what they are. Uh, how much they were loved by their friends. Right. So I don't think it was about romance. I don't think it was about uh, kissy kissy. Uh, I think it was about that. Oh, no, 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 no. No, of course you're faithful to a franchise, but the very first question that the other one has asked me, they said, could you make two movies out of this? And I said, no, uh, I couldn't. There is enough incident for two movies, there are enough kind of, you know, cute little bits and pieces for two movies, but there isn't a great big driving story for two movies. That's only one. And... That story is the story of the villain coming on the screen for the very first time and for his uh, loathing, hatred, and plotting against our hero to, uh, to be clear to the audience for the next uh, four or five movies. That's, what, that's the purpose of, of, that, um, of that film. And the other thing was that it was, everybody said, oh, it was about teenage life. No, it wasn't. It was about young people discovering that they were mortal, discovering that they were going to die. And that was a huge thing and something which the younger people would have sometimes responded to very badly. Um, they were frightened by the film, uh, not just because it was horrible and Voldemort, but because it was, um, well, Robert Pattinson dies. And so it, it was for the very first time this thing that life is not actually all a bowl of little kid roses. Uh, life, life is a big bad bugger. And Reykjavik is the story of. President Reagan and Gorbachev very nearly <clears throat> negotiating an end to the Cold War in a kind of runaway, crazy sprint of, uh, of negotiations where all sorts of sacred cows got uh, turned upside down and thrown away and the things that had been serious in East Coast relationships for scores of years and just passed out of the window. And it was a very wild, free, uh, free-wearing thing. And it depended on these two kind of absolutely opposed enemies who had never sat down with one another before, discovering to their astonishment that they liked one another. 